time. A tour of C++, concurrency and utilities. The standard library provides facilities for dealing with time. For example, here is the basic way of timing something. Using namespace std, chrono. Auto T0 equals high resolution clock, now. Do work. Auto T1 equals high resolution clock, now. See out duration cast milliseconds, T1 minus T0, dot count, millisecond new line. The clock returns the time point, a point in time. Subtracting two time points gives a duration, a period of time. Various clocks give their results in various units of time. The clock I used measures nanoseconds, so it is usually a good idea to convert a duration into a known unit. That's what duration cast does. The standard library facilities for dealing with time are found in the sub namespace std, chrono in chrono. Don't make statements about efficiency of code without first doing time measurements. Guesses about performance are most unreliable. Thank you for watching.